Alrighty, it's time for the final review of Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, this is, what, now the 10th day of playing the game? Uh, of streaming and playing it. Today I streamed 7 hours and 25 minutes so far. Um, so another long day. And I can honestly say this is the best game of the year. This is the best game of many years. This is an amazing game. Rockstar hit it out of the park. Absolutely hit it out of the park. And that's what I want to talk about first. I want to talk about the company first. Uh, especially in times like now where we got a lot of companies, I feel like doing wrong things and offering less for what comes out to more money. You know, like, you know, certain games like Call of Duty, taking away storyline, story mode, um, you know, in favor for multiplayer, you know, uh, got Blizzard deciding to make cell phone games all of a sudden, you know, so many different games, you know, releasing that are broken, like, uh, We Happy Few, and, you know, there's been a lot of great games this year, but... What Rockstar's made here is a game that is so... It's such a filled-in world. It's such just, like, a complete world, you know? That you could... I mean, I feel like I played this game fast. And it took me 10 days, 10 streaming days of playing it. So we're talking, talking on average 6 hours per stream, you know... That's a lot. That is a lot in this game. And there's still so much more to experience. Because it seems like right now, I have free roam. It looks like, you know, the credits went through. And it looks like now as John, I could just go around, finish up any quests that maybe I haven't I haven't done yet. Or, or whatnot. Or any achievements or anything. You know, now I could just play the game at my free will. Um... Which is really cool. I'm kind of happy that you do have that. Because I, I was kind of worried about, like, there's a lot of other things that you want to unlock and everything. So you can still 100% the game. So if, if you're worried about that, too, you can still 100% the game, for sure. Uh, unless there's certain things maybe you had to do in quests and whatnot. That, I guess, is gone. <laughs> That's good. But uh, I guess you can still get, like, all those cool achievements that maybe uh, you'd want. Uh, which is awesome. You got the little farm here. And in the credits, if you're also watching, watch the credits. Just saying, there's some cool stuff in the credits. Watch all of the credits. Definitely recommend it. Some neat stuff there. Uh, so, as a review for the storyline of the game, I didn't play through all of Red Dead 1, the original game. Uh, or any other. I heard there's, like, maybe one or two others as well. Um, little, like, mini games or something. Uh, I didn't play any of those. I played a little bit of the first one, like a little bit, and I don't remember really any of the storyline. I mainly was trying to play multiplayer, and I was just really bad at it. And there was like some other games coming out at that time on the Xbox 360, so um, I don't know that story. So I was able to kind of play this one completely fresh, not knowing anything. So this, for me, was just a game in and of itself. Um, and it just blew my mind. As a gamer, I don't think I've been as blown away by, like, a world like this in a while. Like, I thought Spider-Man for, uh, for the PS4 was, like, a game that blew my mind. I thought God of War was a game that blew my mind. I thought that Detroit Become Human was a game that, like, blew my mind with story. But no, this game absolutely blows them all out of the park. The storyline, the way it unfolds, the, just the way that they... It create these characters the way they draw the the story of these characters out the things that you're doing in the world and the act of doing all these things in the world just brings a connection between you and the characters is so strong that as the story goes on I'm gonna try not to give it any spoilers here but as the story goes on just it's just everything that connection is so unbelievable it's so unbelievable. I mean, to the point that I had such a big connection with my horse. The only spoiler I'll give, because I have to say it to Rockstar, is Rockstar. How did you kill my horse? Her name was Saturday California. Okay? She was an Arabian. She was... She was my horse. 
She went with me on all my journeys. You could have let her run away. You could have let her run away. Just always remember, Rockstar, you killed her. You. You did this. <sighs> really, that, like, for a game to actually make you lament something. Like, I legit feel sad that I lost my horse. That, you know, Saturday was killed. You know? That shows you how unbelievable of a job they did to make you connected to these characters. You know? I think that these characters after this game will be solidified and talked about for years. I think these characters, you know, the Arthur Morgan, you know, definitely John Marston, will be the the next Link, you know, the next Zelda, you know. These will be the characters that are talked about for years and years and years. Uh, hopefully Rockstar can keep it up. Hopefully the multiplayer is going to be great. And it's going to get people playing this game for even longer and longer. But, you know, it, these characters are perfect. This, this story was perfect. Um, now, with all that being said, there is some downsides. I will say, there, you know, for such a big game, you can't expect for everything to be absolutely perfect. And in the epilogue, I did start running into a lot more glitches in the epilogue, uh, especially sound glitches, where all of a sudden I'd stop hearing shooting, I'd stop hearing dialogue, um, and that kind of sucked. It kind of seemed like the Arthur Morgan stuff was a little bit more refined and had time to be finished, and then the epilogue stuff was kind of like... You know, I think this would be, like, a cool thing. You know, maybe it was, like, not... Didn't have as much time... Didn't have much time in, like, the, the oven. It didn't get a full bake. But, you know, for a game so large... For it to have taken to get to the epilogue before you really got a lot of... You know, you know, quite a few glitches happening. There was even other stuff, like, just, like... You know, um... Cinematic traveling. Just traveling me right into trees... Then all of a sudden a tree just like one shot killed me and I, I just started moving, you know. Uh, so there were some glitches here and there, but really not game breaking. You know, there's games that come out like We Happy Few that just completely broken. You know, completely broken. You know, uh, or games that just suck like Call of Cthulhu. That's another $60 game. These two games are $60 games and they give you one-fifth of what this game gives you, you know, and then other companies that are million-dollar, billion-dollar companies, you know, like Call of Duty, can't even give you even an inkling of a story anymore, you know, whereas Rockstar's like, we're gonna give you a multiplayer, and we're gonna give you the largest story in one of the largest worlds with just the most amount of vibrant world and animations and side characters and every character is going to be talking every character could be greeted or talked poop to and interacted with every character all the animals while you're traveling around going across the road you know interacting with you all of a sudden animals attacking you the random random just side characters that are just placed down the world like i found a witch's hut like what who's <laughs> just out in the middle of nowhere on the outskirts of the map you know all these little hidden easter eggs and and quest things to get and items like you find an, uh, an ancient tomahawk i found um a nordic helmet like on in a nordic shrine that was just on the ground somewhere you know all of this stuff just unbelievable just unbelievable this is the best game of the year the best game in many years and even with the few little glitches that happened towards the end. And like the, the few little ones here and there while the game was going on. I can't fault them at all. And I'm so excited to see what comes out for the multiplayer. Um, I, I'm sure. I'm guessing there will be microtransactions like there were in Grand Theft Auto. But you know what? I'm sure it'll be a fun thing to be picking up here and there. And um, I liked Grand Theft Auto multiplayer. And with all. Like, I wonder if they're going to bring in the uh crafting like the <clears throat> customized like you know map building and you know the racing maps and stuff like imagine making your own racing map and there's some crazy wacky 
racing map, you know, that has loop-de-loops made of wood or some, you know, like, could you imagine that? You know, it'd be pretty wild, or like steam engine cars or something that you could drive and race or something. Like, I don't know where they're going to go, I don't know where they're going to take it, but I think that no matter what, I'll play it. And heck, even if they made, if Rockstar caved and made a battle royale, you know, this big open map, could you imagine what that would be like? Take like 200 people, drop them on this big open map, and just have them go at it? <laughs> Maybe one of the biggest battle royale games to come out. You know, uh, they'd have to change their shooting mechanics. So I think, I don't think that lock on would be too good, though. Just saying, <laughs> the dead eye. I don't know if that would work. But, golly, all in all, my final review is if you've got $60 and you want to buy a game, I think this should be your first choice. I really do. Out of all the $60 games that have come out absolutely recently that I could think through of the ones I've played, this is this is my favorite. Out of everything we played this year, this is my favorite so far. Uh, it's definitely a gaming experience worth having. And I don't th I wouldn't say wait for a, you know, a discount. You know, I think that this is one time we should show our support to Rockstar, and we should show the gaming industry, like, hey, this is this is what we want. We want finished, refined, clean games that you know aren't glitching on you left and right. We want amazing story. We want you to want to shock us. We want you to want to put us in awe. We want you to give us an experience. Not just do the XYZ of what gaming is, but we want you to shock us. We want you to give us an experience. And this is what this game is. It's an experience. It'll shock you. It'll tear at your heartstrings. It'll make you fall in love. It'll make you laugh. It'll give you everything you want. It's better than television. It's better than Netflix. You get to live the experience. <laughs> this is the best Westworld you'll get in current days. Just saying. So check it out. I hope you liked this last review. I hope I covered everything. I, I This is all live. You know, that's how I do these things. So it's just what's popping into my mind right now, live after playing for seven hours and now 37 minutes, uh, and also nine days of streaming before this. So I, I hope I covered everything. If you're watching this, this is the final review. Thank you so much. If you're watching on YouTube, click like, hit subscribe. If you watch on Twitch, why don't you drop a follow if you'd like, leave a comment. Um, and I stream Fridays, Saturday, and Sunday. You know, we do playthroughs, we do reviews at the end of the playthroughs, sometimes we play multiplayer games. Come on by. I just, you know, if you want to hang out with little old me, not trying to build the most gigantic community ever, but hey, a few of us hanging out and chatting, that's all I kind of want to do. I love video games, love chatting about them, so if you ever want to, come on by. But golly, this game. Golly. That's all I can say. Golly. <laughs>